Are you right? What are we making today? Hash browns. With what? A lot of things. What about you, good? Pizza hash browns and pepperoni. We're making loaded hash browns. Let me show you how to do it. Let's start with our bacon because it is going to take the longest. I'm telling you, this thing is super, super quick. Today I'm using Wright's Thick Cut Bacon. I use any bacon that you like, but I think Thick Cut, it's going to give me that like really beautiful crunch at the end, which is what we are looking for. I'm taking this to a 10. Do you, how do you like your bacon? You're right. Crispy? Crispy, a 10. A 10? You don't want it to flop at all. Like you don't want it to bend over, but you good. 10. 10? Like, like this? Because let me know in the comments that. Here we go. Ready? That's how bacon should be. What do you think? Definitely. Definitely? What about you, Uriah? Uh, all right, so we wanted to use the thick cut for two reasons. One, we want thick cut bacon, but also we want all that gorgeous fat. So these are really, really fun. Uriah, would you like to, do you feel brave enough to cook by yourself today? Sure. Sure. Uh, so these are tater tots, right? Uh, tater tot. Hash browns. What do I know? Uh, these are hash browns just like we would get at McDonald's or something, but we're doing it at home because it's fun. Here, Uriah, take both of those. Here, stand over here. Here we go. And put them down right over there. There's one and there's two. Good job. Uh, Gabe, why don't you get two as well? So we're going to do two different ways. You're going to do a loaded baked potato, right? But the potato is the hash brown. Go put those next to the other ones. And Gideon, what are you doing? You're doing pizza? Pizza. Pizza. Is it warm over there? Yeah. Nice. So we're cooking these in the bacon fat because potatoes love bacon fat. All right. Back over to the cutting board, boys. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. For yours, Uriah, I think we should take all of our bacon and chop it up into tiny little bits. Uh, you've heard me say this in the past. Usually, if I use bacon, I'm using thick cut bacon. Thin bacon I use for wrapping. Which, by the way, I have a fun idea, Andy. We're gonna make potato roses soon. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. You never heard of it at all? No. I would like to say I made it up. Yeah, learn me right. Let's do it. We'll try it. So thick cut bacon, make it into CJ's favorite bacos. Or what is the dog bacon treat? Bits. Ethan, oh, have you ever- Bacon strips. Why did you know it so fast? Have you eaten them? Yes, I've eaten all. Gross, Ethan. Have you really? Uh, yeah. Are they any good? I mean, bacon bits are better, but like bacon's it's, bacon. It's food. Ew. That's, that's Ethan for you. All right. I'll... All right. All right, let's check out how we're looking over here. So these don't take long. Again, these are already cooked. We're just crisping them up a little bit. This is a fun one, especially if you're in a hurry. Maybe it's the morning time before school, or whatever else you got going on. We just want to crisp these up just a little bit. Those will take about 60 more seconds, and then we'll keep going. These are looking pretty good. You guys like them crispy, right? Yes. Like a French fry, like a hash brown? All right, I feel good about these. Let's bring these over to the cutting board. Now this is our blank canvas. So Gideon, you're doing a pizza one, right? Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and do pizza sauce on each one of those if you want. And Uriah, you and me, we're gonna do like loaded baked potato, which I don't know if you've ever had a baked potato. Have you? I don't think so. Oh, man, we need to get you a baked potato. Uh, so take this spoon and scoop some of that. Here, you want your stool? Here you go. Put some of the sour cream right down the middle. Dude, that's perfect. Yep, perfect. Yep, put it down right in the middle. Good job. Kind of plop it down and then there you go. Perfect. Do the same thing to the other one. That looks great. Oh, good. Trying to let it fall off the sides. Good work. I love it, Uriah. Perfect, good. And then I'll grab some cheese. We'll put some cheese down. Just like that. Perfect. There we go. And you want, how many pepperonis do you want? Two each? Maybe six. Six pepperonis? Here, grab your pepperonis. Put as many as you want. Now this is a fun one too. If you find these uh, in your grocery store, you could do ones for breakfast. You could do like bacon and eggs on them. Uh, you can go a little bit nicer, do nicer ingredients if you want. But just because, yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's do two, two each. But think of it like, you know, your, your blank canvas. You can do much. Hey, why don't you put some bacon over the top of each of those? So usually a load of baked potato has sour cream, bacon, and chives. Yeah, go a little bit higher and kind of let it fall down. I like it. Yeah. You guys are doing good. There you go. All right, good. Yours, we're going to melt a little bit more. So I'm going to scoop both of these. And why don't you go behind me, Gid? Grab that dome right over there. 
And we'll put these back down and put the dome on top so it can mount. Perfect. All right, we'll see those in like, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds. Now these look great. Let's go a little bit heavier on the bacon. Looks good, you yeah. Looks really good. Yours does too. Beautiful. And let's do some of these chives. You know what chives are like, Uriah? They're kind of like green onions, but they're a little bit more delicate in flavor, but they're really, really pretty. So we can just make like little, little rings. Remember how we were garnishing from up high? Go ahead, take a pinch of those and up high garnish. Oh. Yep. Get on there. Nice. And use the rest, do the other one. Do that one. It's a loaded baked potato hash brown. That looks awesome. Seems really good. It looks really good. All right, kid, you want to check on yours? Let's see if our cheese is melted. Ooh, we're almost there. You know what we can do? We can take a little bit of water. Water under the uh, dome helps it steam really fast, but we don't want the potatoes to get too soggy. So we only let it go for just a second and then it'll be perfect. Mm. Oh, there we go. Gideon, you've made pizza. Look at these guys. Look how fun. All right, who wants to try which one? Me. Ah. You know, I said it before, it's a blank canvas. You can do kind of whatever you want. Uh, these are fun ones today, right, boys? Yeah. Yeah? You want to give it a try? All right, you go. Uh, you have yours, and Gideon, you can have yours. And then you tell me which one I should try. Oh, they're crunchy. Delicious. Get a cut. Oh, my gosh. It's not a knife. What are you, a kid or something? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bite for you. I want to try this one, Uriah. How is it? Really crispy, but really good, too. Yeah? I like crispy. Mmm. Uh -huh. Best thing I've ever had. No way. Maybe. Really? Yep. I'm just glad you like your bacon the same way I like my bacon. This one's wrong. Let me know in the comments. 100% of 10 on the crispy bacon scale. I like this one. What else could we put on this one, Uriah? Um, I don't know. Maybe some peppers? Peppers would be good. Like pickled peppers? Sure. Yeah, that'd be good. How about you, Good. How's yours? Very good. I think you would eat pizza every meal of the day if you could. I would. Is pepperoni pizza your favorite? Mm-hmm. Dang. They're pretty good. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to do all the stuff, do all the things, like, comment, subscribe. What are you telling them, Gideon, on YouTube? Be sure to subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Yeah. Yeah. A man of many words. What, a, what an old guy. <laughs> what an old guy thing to say. Uh, leave us a comment, like it, comment, share all the fun stuff. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy. I'll see you all in the next episode. This is really good. Well, you made it.